Technology and construction can be incredibly overwhelming, but it is absolutely necessary in order to compete at the highest level. If you're trying to overcome the challenges of, the, of 2024 and 2025, and you're trying to figure out like, why is my competition beating me to customers? Why are they getting more projects? Why do they keep getting new trucks? Why are they growing and I'm not? It's likely due to efficiency generated by technology. So there's two types of technology. There's software and hardware. So I'm gonna go through each department of most companies, which is sales, marketing, operations, production, and finance. And I'm gonna talk about some software and some hardware that can be utilized to help you execute at a higher level, build your professionalism, increase your client experience, and ultimately help you win more jobs and build more awareness in your community. So in sales, if you have no technology right now, like a client relationship management software, um, some sort of a uh, way to send emails or text messages in bulk or automation, something to keep track of just what you're doing. So the, the, the software can be a full-blown CRM, it can be a spreadsheet, it can be something digital. I would, I would evolve beyond writing things down. Like at this point, if you're still writing things in a notebook as your primary source, like you're just behind, you're slow, you're inefficient, and you're not gonna be able to automate any of that. So from a software perspective, look into a CRM, client relationship management tool, or just you know, an overall construction management platform, which we're gonna talk a little bit more here in a second. I also did a video, if you haven't seen it yet, you know, what the heck is the difference between a CRM and a project management tool? If you wanna go deeper into that, there's another video. Um, I'll challenge my team. They wanna put it right here into this video. Click right here. We'll see. If there's a video there, they did their job. If they didn't, let me know. Comment below if, there's, if you don't see a video pop up there. But overall, like figuring out what that technology is. The hardware, there's, there's three things that I really like from a hardware on the sales side. One is an iPad or a laptop. I think it's incredibly important that you can, you can create proposals, handle the communication, work in your truck while you're in the field. You have to come, like when I got my entire team laptops or iPads and they did not have to come back to the office to fill things out, it created an extreme amount of efficiency. And so second would be some form of like measurement tool. Like I used a laser measurer, like that little technology again saves time, creates consistency, creates accuracy. So a laser measuring tool, maybe you're using a, a software measuring tool. If you're in the roofing space, like, you know, Eagle View or the other, there's a lot of newer ones. I used Eagle View when I was doing roofing, uh, but some form of a digital or software based measurement tool. Um, it creates just way more efficiency than a tape measure. Like if you're still, if you're doing sales and you're a flooring company and you're still going around with a tape measure, measuring every room on for a proposal, you're just not as efficient as the guy next door using a laser tool, getting it measured quickly and getting a proposal very quickly. So something like that can create a lot of, a lot of efficiency. And then there's 3D mapping hardware where you can put it in the room and it maps the whole thing. That can be really, really valuable for like high-end remodeling, kitchens, bathrooms, whole home remodeling. You know, and probably not as valuable. Like they're very expensive pieces of equipment, like tens of thousands of dollars. But if your average project is two hundred fifty thousand dollars and you're doing massive kitchen remodels, that three D mapping tool can help with quoting. It can help with design. It can help with with takeoffs. It can do a lot of value from that. So, looking at that software and hardware combination in the in the sales process can create professionalism, it can increase client experience, can increase accuracy on the front end. Like if you deal with your production team constantly pissed off because the sales team mixed something, like mismeasured something, got something wrong, you know, finding technology, both hardware and software to create efficiencies and accuracy, and then building some form of a CRM into your process from a software perspective to keep up with clients, keep up with leads, keep up with notes, keep up with clients through the journey, very, very impactful. From a marketing perspective, there are a ton of applications out there I'm not as familiar with. I have historically not been an in the weeds marketing guy. You know, I use the social media platforms, I use YouTube, and like most of these platforms have a dashboard. So if you are currently utilizing YouTube or social media and you don't have a business profile, get it set up as a business profile and then use the dashboard for the analytics of understanding what is and is not working. You know, if you're not doing that, I'm not going to say AI, like chat GPT can be a great 
tool to give guidance, but I think too many people use it as just like copy and paste. So I'm not going to lead you in that direction. But overall, having some way to measure, schedule, and hold yourself accountable to some form of marketing content distribution. If you're using Google My Business, that's another great dashboard technology. Um, if you have all these things in place, you've never even looked at the, the data. If you've never looked at the analytics, start there. Most of these big level, high level uh, services like social media, like Google, like YouTube, um, they have backend dashboards that give you a lot of data. So a technology might already be there that you're just not utilizing on the marketing side. If you're currently utilizing a marketing agency, have them send you those reports, ask them for some of the back end. If they're not providing that, I'm not judging marketing companies, but not all marketing companies are created equally. You want to understand the data on your own so you can hold them accountable to making sure that what they're saying is happening is actually happening. From a operations and production, having some sort of project management tool in place, like a job tread, a builder trend, jobber, market, like there's literally thousands out there. But on the operations side specifically, I like using Asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A -A, as an internal project task management tool. Incredibly powerful, can be robust, super simple to set up. Um, I have helped dozens of companies implement Asana into their routine. So if that's something you want, click the link in the, click the, link in the bio, get with my sales team, schedule a call, let's get you in the program, let's get you some help. But like Asana is a great platform for internal task management. So you would use something like that when you're tired of repeating yourself to people or constantly forgetting of things that you told people you would do or constantly missing deadlines. Incredibly powerful to creating initiatives, creating next steps, creating tasks. From an operational hardware perspective, not a lot. On, you know, I look at operational, the operations is kind of in office, production is kind of in the field. So from a technology on the production side, Again, utilizing hardware that measures more effectively, utilizing things on the field like, like the catch-alls, you know, when you're co collecting from roofing, there's a lot of different new things out there that can create some efficiencies for you. But ultimately, I, I find the biggest issue with production is that they are lacking the technology in the communication side of what's happening on projects, when is the due date, what is needed, when is being scheduled, and the communication back and forth between the field and the office is broken. So getting some sort of a dispatch program could be beneficial to you, depending on the industry you're in. Getting some sort of like, again, job tread, builder trend, things like that. Go look into them. There's a ton out there. Getting something where people understand the work order, what is needed from them, have a way to document what they're doing on, on the, the job site, and then have a way to report back if things are needed. Huge, huge, huge efficiency and accuracy wildly impacts the uh, client experience because when a client feels like your project management team is on top of it, being proactive, catching problems and communicating them immediately, they feel a wildly, wildly higher level of trust for you than, than, than the alternative. And we've all gotten those phone calls on your guy broke something today and you didn't know about it or, hey, I thought you were going to finish today and you thought they did. We've all had those phone calls from customers. Um, having some sort of project management tool. I think on the production side as well, if you have vehicles in the field, I would highly suggest vehicle tracking technology. Um, it can be really great. It can, I know people who have saved tens of thousands of dollars in lawsuits and damages because they had the tracking, they can prove where their guy was, they can prove he wasn't speeding, they can prove, like it, there's huge technology in that, or advancement in that technology to allow you to really, really alleviate a lot of risk associated with having your company vehicles on the road. Um, and a lot of insurance companies also provide discounts if you are tracking your vehicles um, for your team. So you can look into that as well. On the finance side, like QuickBooks Online. Like QuickBooks Online, I, I don't know a better one out there. I don't like, sometimes people try to finagle this and like they say QuickBooks doesn't work for them. Cool, huge number of businesses out there use QuickBooks Online. If you're using QuickBooks Desktop, I would suggest you go through the challenge or at least the perceived challenge of transition to QuickBooks Online because if you are on QuickBooks Desktop and that computer breaks, gets lost, gets stolen, it's gone. It's just gone. So I would highly suggest going to QuickBooks Online um, as a technology advancement on the finance side. Look, overall, I just you know quickly rattled off dozens of different things you could be doing. If you don't know what to do next, you don't know where to start, you don't know which technology or advancement you should implement, in what order, 
click the link below. Like schedule a call with my team. Let us give you 30 minutes of free counsel, free coaching, free mentorship to help you figure out what is first, what is next, and what will make the biggest impact on your company. Look, our goal at WinRate is to help you win fast and win often.